Come up again. And we have to go through all of the Thunder Dupes. There's 41 Thunder Dupe saves. Uh, get down to Puff Ranch. Welcome to Puff Ranch. Let's load this one. Welcome to Puff Ranch. If you're new around here, Mondays we do restart day. We do 20 cycles. Uh, oh my god, this one already needs med beds. Oh man, okay. Uh, where did we leave off? We are doing oxygen here. What does our base look like? Okay, it's this one. We have uh, we have ourselves some food. Let's get it working. Let's see what we can do. Med beds. Oh, this is probably for hypothermia. Whatever. Pansies. So let's go into it. Case of the Mondays. I have no idea how I'm gonna save that last base. Especially since, like, it's gonna take me a minute next week. Like, next week. Oh no, were we gonna restart? I don't know. We're... I was originally gonna kinda restart uh, at, at the bit. We are out of algae. Oh my god, we're also out of algae on this one. Because we're out of slime? Holy crap, we're out of slime. That's ridiculous. <sighs> but we're not in a bad spot yet. This does need to get done, though. Let's... Okay, what isn't... Okay, so these have got to get made. Hypothermia is fine. Hypothermia is fine. Huh. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, what is not running? Water. So water needs to run. Uh, plumbing, liquid pipe, uh, granite, no. Uh, igneous. Plumbing. Power, how are you working here? Devious Fusion, how are you tonight? Glad to see you back. Welcome back for another episode of Restart Day. Uh, where we 100% did not just kill Hatch Ranch. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't do that. Hatch Ranch is perfectly fine. It is a base that will continue to give as well as it got. In no way, shape, or form is Hatch, <laughs> hatch Base so dead. So dead. <sighs> oh, and this one hopefully does not follow suit. Today is Monday. It's Monday, so a new hope. A fantastic week. A good day to be alive in uh, Puff Ranch. Yeah, a good day to be alive in Puff Ranch. Why is that un- okay. Just say, why is that unreachable, but 
It's not. What is that made out of? Gold. Okay. Let's let's not worry about temp shifts. Let's just worry about getting this up and running, not worrying about the temp shift. Empty pipe, we know. We're gonna build that pipe. Build the pipe! Build the pipeline! It's not an oil pipeline, it's perfectly safe. This is going okay, we're okay here, everything is fine, everything is fine. Air is not a problem quite yet. Everything is fine. Ha, it's nice when a plan comes together. All right. Uh, priority nine. Get them to build that too. Get ourselves some... Oh, we actually have plenty of metal. Well, you know what? Whatever. Trivaldo, you're a miner. That's what you're good at. Let's do it. You're a good guy, Trivaldo. Really helping out the team here. Awaiting delivery. Gold amalgam. Gold's coming from up here. Psh, silly players. Gold comes from China. Go to bed. All right, so tomorrow pump goes in, door goes in. Oh. I got an email from Twitch and it wasn't a new, it wasn't a new follower. Oh. It wasn't anything crazy this time. Station, station, station. Here we go. All right. We're okay there. You're okay here. Priority nine, 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 nine. Priority nine there. Priority nine there. Priority. Those are all fives. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Did I lose what a follower? I did lose a follower actually. Twitch must have caught it as a bot. I don't know anybody who unfollows channels, but Twitch every once in a while calls bots. My goal is 400 this week. I don't know what I'm at, but my goal is 400. I feel like it's reachable. I feel like I can get 400 followers this week. Probably not. I, since I have zero control over that, it's not really like a goal. It can't be a goal. I have zero control over that, but. Joshua. There's a lot of people who really hate me. I know, I know. I don't get it either. How can you hate on perfection? Just kidding. Here we go. Wait, why is this not? Why aren't these pumping? We should probably make ourselves a bit of a bit of a gas vent right here. But that was me putting myself down. So I don't I don't know what your point is. There we go. Look at all this air. Oh, oxygen. Sweet, sweet blue. You're a good dupe, May.
cool. All right, cool. Uh, this needs to go the opposite way, I think. Yeah, let's make this the opposite way. So this gas bridge deconstructed. All right, we're gonna delete this pipe right here. We're going to make ourselves two new pipes. Bum, bum, bum. And we're gonna put another gas bridge quite like this, once once this one's deleted. Uh, the reason that we're gonna do that is we're gonna prioritize the power generation, so we don't have to have a dupe up here running on a wheel. Uh, we're gonna prioritize prior power generation over um, over making it colder. So we're in a nice biome, it's gonna get cold anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a smart battery. That this is gonna be a smart battery in a second. I just don't want to use tungsten to build it, and I think all I have is tungsten. Yeah, all I have is tungsten. I don't want to use tungsten to build it, so I'm, I'm gonna have to do it in a minute. And then let's also turn you off. kind of overproduce quite a bit, but they actually don't as much as you would think. Like, you get a little bit of extra to juice it, but not not a ton. It could be worse. I mean, it could be, it, they could produce more, but uh, the other problem that we're having is we, we're going to do this. So let's just make sure that we can just do this real quick. help seal this off. There's a lot of hydrogen that's up there that I would very much, much rather go. Here we go. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay. There we go. We're starting to get juicing. Cool. So smart battery is going to help here. We're going to set this guy up with some automation. I just don't want to use tungsten because I'm going to use tungsten to cool down some water up here. So. No biggie, but uh, yeah. It is, it is powering itself now, which is very nice. It's at least powering itself now. I just want it to power itself a little bit better. Wait, where'd you go with that? Did you you did leave it here, right? You iron fifty, okay. Okay. Okay, that's... Come on, meep. 
Oh, Meep, you got a unibrow when you're punching. Oh, Meep, you have a unibrow all the time, actually. I never even noticed that. Oh my god, I never noticed Meep has a unibrow. He's the unidupe. I swear to god. God damn it, you're dormant. Are you kidding me? <sighs> time to work on your paper. Papers are good. Paper's a good, uh, good thing to do. A little bit more iron ore. We're just gonna do a little bit more automation. A little bit of automation wire. Meep is a strong independent dupe. You are correct. May, thanks for rocking it. You are the best duplicate that we have available to us right now. Oh, no, 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 I lied. Don't do what I was exactly telling you to do. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was my phone. In a bedroom with a bed? What do you mean you can't do a recording in a bedroom with a bed? That doesn't make any sense. How would they even know? Oh, that that's that's an unfortunate. There we go. A little bit of iron. That's important. I just don't want to use the tungsten. battery iron okay uh, at least a semi-presentable place can you record it while you're here because we can do some crazy shit with the green screen we'll just put you on fucking like shooting stars or something like that just be like yeah what up now I mean, if they want a semi-presentable place, we can troll the shit out of that. Back on my desk? Yes. Ready? It's right there. Well, kind of. Super happy that you two feel like this is how do they expect you to record that shit like how do they expect anybody to have like a legit microphone anymore okay there we go awesome Automation with a hamster wheel? Yeah, you can automate hamster wheels um, with smart batteries just to make it. Because it's either that or the dupes, sometimes they'll just, like, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. So you can you can automate hamster wheels with it. working fine. And now we're getting some air. 
some air down there. It's not perfect, but you know what? It works. All right, how are we doing on apparently no water? So now we need water. Okay, let's first, let's first get this water. This being dormant sucks. Dormancy is just... Uh, I don't know what they were thinking. This puts out less than a kilogram of steam a second, man. That's great. But it erupts all the damn time. So that's not the worst. up is getting water. We need to do this water and this water. Loop them around up here. So let's make ourselves some uh, liquid pipe tungsten. Not a huge radiator, but we'll see what goes on. Fantastic. I, I, I love this part of the game. This is the part of the game that I, I love, is just, just watching, like, well-planned ventilation systems, just watching the packets move. It's, it's very, um, it's very satisfying. Very satisfying. Solid two minutes. All right, ready? I want to see it catch up and go back up here. It'll catch up soon. You're at the start of cycle 87? Then, dude, that's like a eight minute stream delay. That's insane. Oh, hey, 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 hey.
That's insane. Yeah, reload your browser. Holy crap. That's, that's like... Quick, let's all talk shit about Teretic. You know, at least these are implanters. Free from hydroponics? Yeah, 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 this is all about hydroponics. We're organic around here, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Monday. It, it backed up a little bit more than I thought it was going to. It's okay, though. How's this working? Yeah, even the squishy's going. Yeah! Wow, that's delayed. That's crazy. Everybody make fun of his potato internet. And then, I don't know. Let's, let's, I don't know. Let's say something in chat while he's like, he's so far behind so he has no idea what we're saying. Everybody just say, potato will be like what's your favorite tuber and everybody say potato yeah yeah let's do that let's uh wh what is your favorite tuber the answer is potato everybody go potato you know the worst part is is you guys can't wait to jump on jump on me and give me shit but the minute i try to do erratic there we go <laughs> oh, he is the potato for sure. 90 second stream delay is ridiculously high. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how is everybody tonight? I am glad that you could stop by and spend some time with me on this Monday night. Ah. <sighs> I'm surprised, uh, you know, that we're, we're doing so well, so very well. This piping, uh, I believe, I believe this was the piping that, uh, we, we were being asked about. Town kill, we are making a small radiator up here out of tungsten because it absorbs temperature or, well, dissipates heat very, very easily. So we're going to spend a little bit of time sending some of this liquid from, from our geysers and stuff around this little guy right here. To make it so that uh, we have the ability to cool it down a little bit to send it back to base. That, that's all we're doing. It it is it is kind of impressive how bad your delay is tonight, by the way. Is that also your favorite tuber? It's my favorite tuber. Oh, hey, they're a little stressed, huh? Maybe one day we'll put something in those pipes. Maybe. Maybe one day. This base is going super well.
So we're just gonna make a little bit of a tungsten radiator. Tungsten is super good at doing stuff. Would a gold volcano and a cool slush geyser help to work together to cool the gold coming out? Yeah, I don't see why it couldn't. A couple of people have actually, a couple of people on the forums have actually started to take shots at like cooling metal geysers and stuff like that. And there's some really cool ideas. <laughs> Get it? Some really cool ideas. I know. Um, there's some really neat ideas out there, actually. People whom way smarter than me, way smarter. Here we go. We are doing so well on hydrogen production. Ridiculously well. Wow. Wow, that's rough. Potatoes are also my favorite tuber. It's a starch like no other. That's all gonna disappear. So we should probably... And then put a little bit of a little airlock right in there. Yeah. Those are gonna... Those are gonna sublimate and disappear. So we need to make sure that we maintain access. Maintain priority access. We're gonna come down here. This is gonna hurt the duplicates. But we're okay with that. We're gonna come down here to here, apparently. And we're going to put ourselves plumbing. A liquid pump made out of gold. The gold part is very important. We're going to put it in the lowest section. We could just, like... I, I, I'm just doing this because I want all of this water. So we're going to put the gold pump in the lowest section. We're also going to grab ourselves a liquid piping. Not made out of abyssalite. Cancel. We're going to make ourselves some liquid piping. See? Plumbing. Liquid pipe. We can go ahead and make that out of igneous. It doesn't really matter. Because this is just going to carry some hot water. Hot water. Out of there. And then we also need to give it some power. A little bit of power, power, power. Make it out of iron. Because we have plenty of iron. So we're just going to do that. And we're just going to set this up so that we can get in and out. And when we start to need, be able to need to use this, we can we can come use it, right? It's just a oh no, you're very hurt, Joshua. Why are you? Is it air? Is air the problem? Let's get the air, the air up there. Any quick recommendations on what to do with a hot, polluted oxygen vent? Uh, cool it down? Oh, pollute, yeah, hot, polluted oxygen, cool it down, and I guess, I guess you could use it, right? Cool it down, send it somewhere that, that you don't really care. What, how hot are we talking? I forgot, do they put it out at 500? Puff farm is a good idea, because puffs don't care about the heat. I mean, you must not care about your puffs, but puffs don't care about the heat. I think it puts it out at 500, doesn't it? Yeah. You could use it to melt an ice biome. How's this working? Oh, look at this work. Look at that go. We're actually even overproducing for this. 932 degrees Fahrenheit? Yeah. yeah. Puff farming, baby. Puff farming. Rockin' the puff to luft. Let's get that toggled got some algae that we're going to be able to use. 
Let's get this settled. Boom, there we go. Get a little bit of air up in this area. All right, so we've got some natural gas up there. We're gonna have water available to us over here. What is this? Ice? There's ice. Ice. Oh my god, this water's freezing. Ugh, drip cooling at its best. Uh, let's clean out this. Three closest guys to the base are iron, volcano, and chlorine. Ouch. Feels happy. Gonna test see what happens if open an iron volcano right into the ice biome beneath it. You'll get cold iron. Well, actually, you'll still get hot iron, but it'll cool down quickly. My eye has been bothering me all day. I don't know what it is, but... Um... So I don't know. I think uh, I think we might go to. Well, see now. Here's my problem: is I can't say that we're gonna restart the bases next week because of how Hatch Ranch went. Like if I left it on that crazy of a cliffhanger, I would have mutinies. I feel there would be mutiny. a ton of people who watch the the restart days on youtube oh, there's a handful i'm sure but it's hard for me to tell i don't get the i don't get the statistics that i get on twitch on youtube all right so we're good there we're good there we're good there oxygen's coming out here this is going to be a thing we've got this is available to us this will give us this bit right here so we're okay there three closest ah I really like gold volcanoes, so I think gold volcanoes are my favorite right now. Do you? Do you watch them on YouTube or do you watch them on Twitch, though? Because you're always here. Main source of oxygen? Your slime biome? Do you mean, like, purifying polluted air? Well, <laughs> we set that up until today. <laughs> YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That answers my question. It's just kind of dripping all the way down here. How are we doing on temperature? Really good. Okay, let's make sure uh, that our... How are we living on food? Like, why are we living? Huh. Interesting. We really should make a mushroom farm at some point. I think that's going to be my goal next week, is, is to kind of get food settled. Now that air is okay... See, this base went really well. See, this, this this worked. I'm happier with this. Now the air is set up and we're gonna have multiple sources of water. We have another cold biome to play with over here. Anything worth looking at? Nothing, 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 nothing. Anything worth looking at that we've kind of uncovered? Poison, 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 poison. Tasty fish, no tasty fish. No tasty fish, no tasty fish, no tasty... Oh, ooh, tasty fish! I lied, tasty fish! Let's go get it. Oi, that's in a bad spot, huh? But let's let's go this way. Like this. Okay. 
this oxygen system that that I'm running right now, um, I I wish I could come up with I wish I could come up with credit for the the actual layout, but I can't. Um, it was actually made by the layout was suggested during um, the hardcore challenge by Devious. So Devious is I'm pretty sure it was Devious that that gave me this layout. But this little guy right here, just the the, the electrolyzer with the two pumps directly next to it, it works great. Like it's 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 awesome and. I know a whole lot of people do the whole like, oh, self-powering and this, and, and they like have these giant enclosed systems and they use Weezwarts to cool shit and things like that, but I love squishy machines, so throwing it on squishy is, is fantastic for me. Algae and slime automation. I would like to do that. Um, I think my problem is, is it's not very efficient. Also, you have to still dig the slime. If there was an automated, if there was an automated mining bot, like like a mining arm that would just mine out an area and then keep, it, like you could put it on a track and then it would mine out more area and put it on track, mine out. That would be super cool. I doubt they'll ever do it because you know you have duplicates for that. But I, I think that would be super cool. Yeah, I like I like having a more more of a main power bus. I'm a main power bus kind of guy. Um, I like having all of my power generation on one bus and then yeah, blast mining and then having it so that like okay, you know if if this were to fail over at some point or fail out, like I want it to be able to pick up and, and go somewhere else um, and and do what it needs to do right. Like if I'm I'm gonna add natural gas generation, you know, in here probably. And when I do that, I want to make sure that, you know, if this were to fail out, this system picks up the slack and kind of makes sure that our oxygen doesn't, doesn't kick out. A sweeper arm with a slow mining arm attachment for the algae farm, because in two minutes you will have forgotten about this conversation. That actually wasn't two minutes ago. Your delay is getting better. I don't even know how that's possible. Still dormant. Oh, Nisbet. You're such a good girl, Nisbet. Let's get this done, though. Let's get you some help. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, my God. You're dormant, too? Seriously? Yeah, your delay's not the worst. Like, you're still probably 30 seconds, 40 seconds off, but... That's not, that's not bad. Not for Twitch. Apparently, I don't need to do... Apparently, I don't need to do the ladders. I was just being nice. That's not too bad. 40 seconds isn't bad. I still have iron. Okay. Oh. We're backed up on oxygen. Oh, that is a really great sight after the last base. Uh, let's just open the store. Let's oxygenate this. You know what? Let's also open this door. Clean this up. Oh, really? I can't clean any of that? Alright, let's, let's dig a little bit. The last base failed. Ah, uh, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. I 
it, it didn't fail yet. It's well on its way. It is, it is well on its way. Oh. That looks pretty weird, huh? 720p again. Lurker. Welcome back. Yeah. I'd like... Not that it's required, but I'd like to see automation ports on... Um, I'd like to see automation ports on Transformers. Not that it's super required, but... It's kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, I would like to see that. Uh, refined metal. Tungsten. A little bit more. Hey man, every once in a while Twitch Twitch does us a solid and gives us uh gives us that sweet sweet transcoding. I honestly like TVs were 480, right? Um, no, I mean Transformers have their right. Transformers definitely have their their uses um, in in specifically doing things like uh, splitting up your your system for a a main power bus versus you know local power generation. And making sure that you don't overload, right? That you don't overload wires or you don't overload circuits and stuff. Um, I am I am a big fan of the transformer. Um, I personally believe that the people who do kind of like, because smart batteries don't split circuits, right? So if you generate 20 kilowatts of power and you send it into a smart battery and then you send that into your base, it doesn't split the circuit. It just you know, it sends 20 kilowatts of power into your base, um, and you, you need the you need the circuit. Yeah, but the generator on each circuit—that's crazy. Why would you do that? Like, there's there's so many better solutions than a generator on every circuit, because then you have to worry about all those generators. What happens if one of those generators fails? The 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 geyser that's feeding it dies, right? Does that circuit just get screwed, or you know, how do you how do you manage that? And that's, that's the real kicker is, well, how does that circuit work, right? Because, you know, this this cool steam vent goes, let's say that we're, we're generating power off of this one, and this is providing two circuits worth of ge you know, generation, right? Natural gas. And then this thing goes dormant, which it is right now, because that, that's going to happen all of the time. What do you do with those two circuits? Are they just shit out of luck? Or do you want it so that all of your generators feed into a pool of power that's enough to run the entire base all the time, maybe even overkill, and from that point forward, if, if these generators fail, right, if these two generators fail because this thing is dormant, the rest of them pick up the slack, right? And then automate everything so that you're not over-generating power at all. I mean, that's, that's if you ask me, the better way to do it. Um, is it the only way to do it? Obviously not. But I feel like that's a little bit more like, oh, you're going to, oh, they can't actually reach that. That's, uh, yeah, they can't actually reach that. Okay. Well, there isn't only one effective way to generate, right? There's there's multiple effective ways to generate power now. Especially now that we have ranching and you can legitimately do coal, as dirty as I just sounded saying it. Um, you know, you can legitimately do coal uh, with, with hatches. Like, eight hatches, you can run a coal generator now. So, you know, maybe some of it is coal, right? These multiple hydrogen generators based out of you know, oxygen generation, or if you have a hydrogen geyser, right? One of our maps, we have a hydrogen geyser, although that one's failing. Um, 
you know, hydrogen is, is valid. Uh, petroleum is even weirdly a, a valid startup power at this point, right? If you're running petroleum and you're running heavy petroleum like I do, in a lot of cases where I have a pool, a pool of Shisha Master has followed. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Welcome to Restart Day. Welcome to the channel. Um, like I run really heavy petroleum. I'll make like a huge pool of petroleum because I just want to do to do it, and then I want to be able to forget about a while. And I'm not making plastic out of it. Like, what do you do with that petroleum if if other generations need a bootstrap? Right, set your petroleum so that it only activates if everything else is dead and, and bootstraps everything else. There's there's a ton of great power sources now. I think that's actually one of the best things that came out of this geyser update is the fact that we aren't relying on natural gas generation all the time. My two cents though. Is natural gas generation still like the best? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But is it the only? No, not anymore. Lurker, 321 with five bits. Thank you for the bits. Silver? Oh, the, the, the restart. The week restarted. Bits badges are up for grabs. Well, they're up for grabs all the time. I will not insinuate a bits badge war. I feel like that is self-serving. Oh, dub stepped. I it's not that I didn't say hi. I was in the middle of a rant. You know how I get. You you know how I get sometimes when I when I get on a subject and I'm like, "Hey, we're going to talk about this for like 5 minutes even though it was really a 30 second question." But hello, how are you? Priority 9. Oh, the best. The best emote on Twitch, if I may say so myself. That priority 9 emote, yours for a free Twitch subscription. I'm just kidding. I'm not wearing my hat. No, I'm not wearing my hat tonight. My eye is really bothering me tonight, so I'm kind of just... Yeah. You get it. My eye is really bothering me tonight. This eye. Actually, both eyes. I think I'm allergic to something, and it got in. I'm allergic to something, and I don't know what it was yet. Now, I'm not saying that your way of doing it is wrong. It's not. It's not wrong, right? It's just different. And that's okay. There are some situations where your way works better because if you prioritize, right, a certain a certain power generation. Allergic to bullshit? Yeah, maybe. Uh, when If you prioritize a certain power generation, right, and that's, that's specifically feeding your life support systems, then other things can... Yeah, I am just dying, slowly and surely. Um then that can, you know, you'll have a point where you're like, okay, I'm prioritizing this. Um, and then that way, if if something goes wrong, he almost just died. There's no way, there's no reason he should have been able to get up that step, but whatever. Um, then, oh, okay, all of a sudden, maybe your your algae conversion goes down, or maybe your, your sieve goes down, or your, you know, your other generation goes down. Then... Right? Everything doesn't go down. Our way, the way that Terabuki and I do it, um, definitely requires more automation, and when shit goes wrong, it goes wrong way worse, right? Because if you, if you un... If everything... If everything goes wrong at the same time, or if you're, you're overstretching part of the system because something crashes and you haven't planned properly, then our way, like you get you can get blasted super fast i mean it's just it's like well oh well i'm dead now um you have to have ways to absorb it and restarting our system sucks unless you have some sort of bootstrap generators like coal generators that never get turned on unless you're bootstrapping or something like that restarting our system sucks right like you you can't just restart it on a wheel so there there are definite downsides to our um, to, to our system. I just, I am, I personally think it's, it's the better choice though. But that's again, also the really best part about this entire thing is like, neither of us are right and neither of us are wrong, which is fucking great if you ask me. And that's what makes this game awesome and fantastic. That's why I never get 
I, when I read the forums sometimes, like, you get the people who are like, Zildjian, Zildjianar, thank you for the follow. Two follow friends. Two follow friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, multiple grids, automate the power shutdown for reboots. Like, there's ways to work around it, but it still sucks, right? It's not just feed a generator and uh, now that circuit's back online. Uh, <laughs> the one is unreachable. The one. The one is unreachable. Really? Really? That's the one that you chose? You, you... Like, yours is way easier to bootstrap. Crown and Ace is also with a follow. Crown and Ace is thank you for the follow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Put new sources that become idling. Yeah. Yeah, it's the emergency wattage that I have a problem with. Like, I'll, I'll overload. I will take a system right to its breaking point. And I'll be like, okay, I generate five kilowatts of power. And, and I require like five kilowatts of power or I require, you know, just, just enough of kilowatts of power. And I'm like, okay, kilowatts of power. This is what I got. And I'll take it right to its breaking point and never have that, that like bootstrap. Right. Um, and so what I've been trying to do is, is later game. Well, no wonder you have heat stroke. You just fell asleep in the damn hot water. What do you want from me? Get out of there. What are you doing? Joshua, I swear to God, Joshua. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst, Josh. Josh, buddy. You are you are the worst. Um, and so what I've been trying to... Stands alone, 84 also with a follow. It's like a follow train. Follow just, just all the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my god, are we almost... Oh wait, no. We're nowhere even close to 400. God, I'm gonna get... I'm, I'm going for 400 this week. I think... I think getting 20 follows in a week is... is is viable so i'm going i'm i'm going i'm going for the the 400 in a week 400 for the week or 400 at the end of the week i mean it hasn't been a week right like 400 in you know what i mean i'm gonna stop talking now um but what i've been trying to do is is that whole like okay i if have all of the smart batteries in most of I've been trying to tear it out of smart batteries, right? So, like, I have a bunch of smart batteries, and then maybe maybe the natural gas will be set to kick on at, at 15% or 16%, you know, or 15%. And then I want the hydrogen to kick on at 10%. Although, in this case, I want the hydrogen to kick on at 15 the natural gas to kick on at, uh, at, at 10 and then, you know, maybe I want coal to kick on at five. So that way, if, if these two systems can't handle it, the coal kicks on, right? And then the last one would be something like petroleum, which kicks on at like one or 2%. And so that way, you know, I'm not using petroleum as a main energy source, but it's enough juice to kind of go. And that's, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to get better about that recently. Is, is having that emergency power supply that isn't dupes running on a wheel. What do you mean you still can't get in there? I built you a ladder. Look, it's a beautiful ladder. It's, it's very pretty. You dupes. Ah, new follow friends. Hello, all new follow friends. Thank you for joining. Thanks for tuning in for restart day. I know it's a weird day to kind of jump into, but you know what? We like it. I like it. Steam turbine grin. <laughs> I fucking hate that thing. Six tiles. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's not enough. If somebody gets it assigned. Once these get built, it'll be fine. Damn the matter. You know, the weird thing is, is I've been... So I do troll the forums a lot, and and I, I lurk on the forums a lot, and um, very rarely do I post, except for last night. I posted last night, and and I kind of regret doing it, but whatever. Um, and I've seen a couple of people like rocking the manual generator meta rate recently, and I'm like, what what are you doing? And they're just like, yeah, manual generators, man, freaking hamster wheels. I'm like, 
how do, how do you like where what <laughs> like what are you doing <laughs> okay so now like i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some some weird stuff right here we're gonna take this iron ore All right come down this way i wish there was diagonal pieces i i super wish there was diagonal pieces and we're just gonna do that Yeah, I know. Here's the problem. They take a long time to do. And I had, I actually had a, a map set up that I spent like, I spent a, a, a fairly decent amount of time um, creating a map that was specifically made for doing some some tutorials, right? Like the map was made for for doing tutorials. No, 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 no. Manual generators aren't bad at all. Like they're 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 fine. They're just not powerful, right? Um, I use manual generators all the time. Like like I've got two manual generators up here that uh, are are even on like are even on automation at this point. Like I have two manual generators up here to bootstrap this circuit if it ever needs it. I. Manual generators are in no way, shape, or form bad. Um, are they the best? Depends on situation. But I think that's the best part, right? Is is it, power has gotten to be so much more fluid um, than than the other systems in the game recently, right? And and we have geysers to thank for that, fantastically. But also at the same time, like we have geysers to thank for that. Um, I, I wish we didn't have to sacrifice geyser activity to get them to make that change but hey it is what it is what do you mean by bootstrap what do you need to bootstrap um bootstrapping is when you ever hear the phrase pull yourself up by the bootstraps and it mean it means coming up from nothing right so you have a cold system um and a cold system being like like this system before before it didn't have power, right? Everything was off, everything was there, the battery was empty, off it goes, right? Obviously right now I'm relying on this hydrogen generator to generate the power for this system, but what the problem is, is there's no way to get that to start without inputting some sort of power. Um, and so when you bootstrap a system, like you bootstrap a start, it means to start it up, right? And I use manual wheels to, to bootstrap stuff. Um, to start the system so that it becomes more self-reliant, more self-powering. That's what bootstrapping is. And you'll actually hear bootstrapping a lot. Um, I mean, I probably hear it more in that I work out of Silicon Valley. But, like, if you have a startup company, um, the initial capital is often referred to as bootstrap capital, right? When people give you money to start a company, it, it's normally called bootstrapping a company. Um, and, and then that's that. Yeah, it's just, it's called bootstrapping. I have no idea. So if somebody wants to Google it, they might go, I have no idea why it's called bootstrapping. I just know that it's called bootstrapping. Like pull yourself up by the bootstraps. I'm sure that there was probably a, a phrase where like boots used to have straps to put them on or something like that. And, and then that's how this got like laid out. And it's just this ridiculously old term that's been kind of reappropriated, but that's what it is. It means to bring up the system from cold. Okay. So we've got water input, this input. How are we doing on you? Okay, so you, we're gonna do some kind of different stuff. Let's... Could also use Kickstart. Um, kickstarting, same thing, right? Obviously, Kickstart is more of a, a term for, you know, like engines and stuff like that. But um, you pull your boot out by the strap. There you go. Oh, hold on, I, I got you. I got you, KD3. I 
one of us permit? Oh my god, I don't know how to moderate my own channel. Pull one's sense over the fence by one's bootstraps to meet an absurdly impossible action. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm sure it's been around for a long time, right? Like, it's just... And, and there are, like, uh, you know, Lucky Shell, or not Lucky Shell, uh, ZigZag says Kickstart. Um, that, that also works, right? Obviously, Kickstart's a little bit more um, modern in its use just because of Kickstarter. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I like Kickstart. I think that's a cool... I think that's a good way of putting it as well. Oh, poor Nisbet. I'm sorry that you're cold. Not quite sure on a good way to recycle your air. What do you mean, recycle your air? I don't know what you mean. Can you elaborate a little? I, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by recycle your air. Because you don't really recycle air in this game. They breathe air. Are, do, you mean, do you mean use carbon dioxide? Like what to do with the air byproducts? Is that what we're going with? Please enjoy the fantastic view of SpaceX's Falcon uh, Heavy. Falcon Heavy rocket? Oh, fantastic. Why did bootstrapping become associated with star systems? I have no idea. Falcon 9, fantastic. Dog and Lake, auto host, four viewers. Dog and Lake, thank you. I, I don't know if you watched me or not. You popped in a couple of times. Oh my god, it set us back. A fair amount, actually. This is the last cycle for t for this one anyway, but that sucks. It, well, it happens. All right. Um, to start, I would say... Right, to start, you want to make sure that... We're going to split it down here now, because... You want to make sure that... Um, you don't need to do anything for carbon dioxide. I don't know what cycle you're at, um, but you don't need to do anything for carbon dioxide for a while. Just dig a big hole at the bottom of your base. Like, that. that's the big one. Just dig a big hole at the bottom of your base for a little while. Um, yeah, I mean, that's probably it. Did I just build... Oh my god, I just totally built a ventilation bridge, didn't I? I did. I do that all the time. Hm. See? See, this is why I love this shit. It's because you guys make this, like, super actually interesting. See? If you don't learn something new every day, ladies and gentlemen, then really, what did you do? Hogger deck. Not die. Okay, if you're... If you're... If you're, I'm, I'm, I was gonna put in another freaking gas bridge. If you're, uh, 
uh, goal for the day is to simply not die. Mm, I'm thinking maybe you need a readjustment in priorities. I'm, I'm not saying you have to, but like... You should, you should aim a little higher. You, you should aim a little higher. If your, if your entire thing is, well, I didn't die today, you should, you should jack up that expectation of yourself to something a little bit, a little bit higher than, well, I didn't stop breathing today. Just thinking. You know, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not dying is, is actually the pinnacle of your success. I'm really not sure. See, tear. Why is this... Flow. Oh, because it's going to flow to there, but I actually only want this to flow like a thousand grand. I actually, I want this to flow zero. Um, yeah, okay, because that's going to be an issue, right? Because it's not actually connected to anything. But with that, we have reached cycle. Cycle. Uh, we're going to lay this out real quick. Hold on. We're going to pause this and then lay it out real quick. We're gonna use granite to bring you down here to here, and then we're gonna put in a liquid vent. Okay, with that, we have reached cycle 101. Today is restart day. Restart day, we do 20 cycles, so that was 20 cycles on Puff Ranch. Uh, that means that we're gonna move on to the next ranch, the next ranch being Slickster Ranch. Slickster's the best in the game, so let's take two seconds. Uh, this one went way better than Hatch Ranch. <laughs> Uh, we are going to make a, I think we're going to make a, a mushroom farm in here at some point. I want to do food next time. Um, we did get oxygen up and running. It is self-powering. It's doing fairly well. It is going to be self-cooling. We have harnessed the water sources from two, two geysers. So we're going to be able to use those. We have made a cooling system, which hopefully we will have cooled down fairly quick. This water is already very cold. This water dropped. Oh my God. This water went from like 34 degrees, 35 degrees to seven degrees. So that's gonna be a problem. Guys, we are going to go ahead and move ourselves off to Slickster Ranch at this point. Let's load Slickster. Load, load, load. Do, 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 do. All of the duplicate deathmatch, duplicate deathmatch, thunder dupe. A fantastic day, a fun time. Slickster Ranch, go on ahead and load that. While it's loading, I will be back in two seconds. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Ta-da! Perfect, perfect. Willow, you're very pretty. Oh, I didn't need to wake you up. I just said your name. I'm sorry.